In the heart of ancient Africa, 4.5 million years ago, a wild, untouched world stretched beyond imagination. Golden grasslands rolled into endless forests, silver rivers shimmered beneath smoky skies, and distant volcanoes breathed slowly on the horizon. Life moved to the rhythm of the wind, of rustling leaves, of quiet survival. In the branches of a massive fig tree, a small creature stirred. She wasn't chimp, she wasn't human, but something beautifully in between. With long arms and watchful eyes, she climbed down from the tree, slow, cautious, almost upright. The forest floor waited below, alive with scent and danger. Around her, others clung to the canopy, watching, but she was changing. She joined her troop, a tight-knit family, grooming, foraging, alert to every shadow. Every day was a lesson, which plants healed, which ones harmed, when to run, when to fight. And among them, one sat quietly. He watched birds fly before storms. He bent branches to cradle leaves. He noticed the way a stone could crack a nut. No words, not yet but memory, curiosity, a flicker of something new. Intelligence was being born. Seasons passed, forests thinned, trees gave way to open woodland and golden plains. No longer safe among branches, they began walking on two legs, slow, awkward, but their hands were free, free to carry food, to hold each other, to shape tools from sticks and stone. The world watched them evolve, but survival was never easy. Predators closed in, lions with sabers, hyenas with cunning. They ran. Then came fire. Lightning struck the dry grass. Flames tore through the land like wild spirits. The troop fled to a rocky hilltop, wide-eyed, trembling, yet transfixed, leapt into the river, only to find crocodiles waiting. They swam, they struggled, they fell over a great waterfall, but they survived. In the morning ash, one stepped forward, touched the warm earth, and remembered the light, the power, the possibility. Battered, soaked, shivering, they climbed into a new forest. High in the trees, they built nests, held hands, shared food, welcomed children, loved, Time passed. Some grew old. One lay still, no longer breathing. The troop gathered, carried him gently, wrapped in vines, laid him in the earth beneath an ancient tree. They didn't speak, but they remembered. And still, the wind whispers through the rift valley. Leaves rustle in the trees. If you listen closely, you might hear the footsteps of a small troop climbing, walking, learning. The human story didn't begin with kings or monuments or cities. It began with one step, one question, one spark. In a world of fire and flood, of predators and hope, we began.